Hi, I'm Jackson from ActionJacksonFitness.com. I'm a certified personal trainer, a certified kettlebell instructor, and a nationally published fitness model. I'm here today to talk to you about vitamin B1. Vitamin B1, also called thiamine, is essential to a healthy body. It can be found in high amounts in pork chops, pistachios, pecans, fish, beans, and many other green vegetables. Keep in mind, vitamin B1 is not stored in the body. Therefore, it needs to be continually replenished through food consumption or supplementation. Now, let's quickly talk about some of the benefits of vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 has been shown to improve brain function, help with digestion, convert carbohydrates into energy, help with heart disease, and when used in conjunction with omega-3s, it has been shown to promote healthy eyes. Let's start with brain function. Vitamin B1 has been shown to improve brain function in terms of memory, concentration, uh, and reductions in mental stress. Vitamin B1 is so helpful in improving brain function that it's actually used to treat and is prescribed to prevent Alzheimer's disease. With regard to digestion, vitamin B1 has been shown to increase levels of acid in the stomach, thereby helping digestion, and it is often prescribed to people that have digestive issues. Turning to fat loss, an extremely helpful benefit of vitamin B1 is its enhanced ability to help turn carbohydrates into energy. This is beneficial because it increases your body's utilization of carbohydrates in a positive way instead of storing them as fat. Now that you know how helpful vitamin B1 can be, the next question is how much should you take to achieve these health benefits? Recommended daily dosages are 1.1 milligrams a day for women and 1.2 milligrams per day for men. However, vitamin B1 has shown to be, to be non-toxic even in extremely high doses, so you shouldn't have to worry about monitoring your dosage on a daily basis. And if you want to supplement with it in addition to your healthy diet, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. However, if you do have concerns or additional questions, please consult your physician.